Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Ahabati fillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem. Wa ta'awan ala biri wa taqwa wa la ta'awan ala ithmi wa udwan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and cooperate all of you cooperate in piety and righteousness and do not cooperate in sinfulness and enmity how is it that we can cooperate in bitter with taqwa? We cooperate by loving one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sharing Islamic knowledge with one another, cooperating in deeds of righteousness and acts of righteousness, acts of charity, building masajid, giving charity to the homeless, to the poor. All of this under the banner of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Meaning that we are making ta'awan in khair, in righteousness, in things that please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the various ways of khair. And Ahl Sunnah can be for, first and foremost in this and should be as Allah has commanded it. Allah has commanded us to cooperate. So we should be doing that. We should not be tearing one another down. We should not be trying to tear the institutions that we've established down, but rather we should be building more. And we should be populating the ones that we have and making them places of khair wa sunnah. Likewise, in the ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us against and prohibits us from, so we have an amr wa nahi here, that Allah has commanded us with cooperation and righteousness. And Allah has forbade us from cooperating in sinfulness. How do we cooperate in sinfulness, ahabati fillah? When we spread wickedness, for example, some people, they spread wickedness through the internet. They spread backbiting about the du'at and the ulama. They backbite them, they slander their character, slander their honor. They spread things that are not true, even lies. Or they exaggerate about the mistakes of, of others. Is this ta'awan ala bir wa taqwa? Or is this ta'awan ala ithmi wa udwan? Because the sin that they accumulate from these types of actions, it also accumulates or causes enmity. So then you get, you fulfill both of the criterion that Allah has prohibited. You have cooperated in sinfulness and you've cooperated in enmity and in, in increasing enmity, causing enmity. And you're actually ta'awan and cooperating with someone in enmity against your brothers and sisters from Ahl Sunnah. So that's a stern warning from Allah in that verse. What's so difficult about cooperating for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Seeking islah and rectification between your brothers and sisters? Based on Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, not based on desires, not based on evil, not based on sinfulness, but rather on bitter wa taqwa, on piety and righteousness, on the commands, fulfilling the commands of Allah and avoiding His prohib prohibitions. That's what we're talking about cooperation. And we ask Allah the Almighty to unify the hearts of Ahl Sunnah so they can go forward and do khair and spread khair. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.